When you think of a fighting city, there's no better town than Philadelphia. I kind of relate to the whole Rocky thing. In the movie where it takes place, I actually work. Having that mentality of, you know, you're coming from Philadelphia, there's, there's nothing handed to you. you. You have to earn everything. It's just a tough area. But I wouldn't want to grow up any other way. Anirio, Blaney, Sir. Gittle, Sir. Wilson, Sir. Zarnacki, Sir. Dawkins, Sir. Donley, Sir. Dietrich. Sir. Chris is a genuine good guy. Last year, when he really got his big break into the UFC, um, he, he hasn't changed one bit. The comparisons between fighting in front of millions of people in the UFC and in the Octagon and being a police officer are pretty close. Fight week could be stressful, you know, doing all the media obligations and everything like that, but, you know, that's something that you have to do. And it's the same thing with being a police officer. The unit I'm in in the 25th district is extremely violent. A lot of gun violence, a lot of guns on the street. You literally can be driving down the street, and it's happened to me plenty of times. You hear gunshots ringing out two blocks away, and then you have to deal with that. The reason I became a police officer was because my father's a police officer. He's a sergeant in the SWAT teams here in Philadelphia. I took my first fight a week before I went into the police academy. My dad was super upset with me for taking the fight. He didn't want me to take the fight at all. He said, stop worrying about training, stop doing all that. You need to focus on being a cop. And I said, nah, I'm going to fight. Out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Chris Dawkins. Uppercut there. Oh, big D. Dawkins got a jump on He's him. Good. Hey. He's hurt. I was finished up work at the district, 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning. All of a sudden, my manager's calling me. Hey, listen, you're going to fight Parker Porter at UFC 252. And I almost crashed my car on 95. I was shaken. This is everything. Making his UFC debut tonight is Chris Dawkins, representing the Philadelphia Police Department there in Pennsylvania. 30 years of age, good amount of experience, and ready to rock and roll. Oh! His hands just are too quick in that short little space. What sets me apart is how fast I am at heavyweight. Heavyweights are big and slow. I'm not big and slow. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness, that's it. That's it. That's it. Dawkins! Wow! Coming up large in the debut! You come to Philadelphia with the best boxers in the world. Just come to Martinez BJJ, that's us, and we'll show you how to throw hands. I've been working with Chris his whole career. Being a police officer, it's not easy by any means, especially in the city. But he made time. It's dedication to be a fighter. It's not science. It's just dedication. People haven't even seen other parts of his game, his wrestling defense, his jiu-jitsu. You know, he is a black belt. So uh, if he goes to the ground, we'll, we're more uncomfortable there too, you know? Chris Dawkins, who, despite getting his jiu-jitsu black belt, really wants to showcase his hands. I thought some of the guys were going to give him a bigger challenge. I thought they were going to press him on the cage. I thought they were going to grapple with him. But they all want to stand. And hey, that's fine with us. I mean, that's what he does best, is, is knock people out. Oh! oh! Big left hook, follows it with a right hand on the floor. Oh, you big left hook, huge. Dawkins. Dawkins, oh! Dawkins oh! Knockout! Chris Dawkins, Philadelphia in the house. Chris Dawkins is currently serving as a police officer, but he said the goal was always to do 10 years, then step away and focus on becoming a professional fighter. And I think he comes up on that 10-year mark next year. Who knows, if he continues like this, maybe he steps away early. Oh, let it cover it up, eats a knee. Dawkins oh. swinging away and finding a home here. This could be the end. That's it. Chris Dawkins makes it three for three. Another knockout victory for this fighter from Philly.
My family is the biggest support system that I have. My brother is uh, UFC middleweight. He's my number one training partner in everything I do. Sunday dinners here are the tradition. My brother wanted to kind of do something that kept the family close every week. It's usually me, my wife, my son, my brother, his girlfriend, and then my mom. Do you have chicken nuggets? Yeah. yeah. Please do that. <laughs> Words cannot explain how proud I am of both of them. You know, it's 12 years for them, and it's just amazing to see that, you know, when you watch your child live their dream. The future of being a Philadelphia police officer is coming to an end for me. I'm hanging up the cuffs, the vest, all that good stuff. I finally reached the pinnacle of the sport in the UFC. It's what I've been striving for for these past 10 years. And I'm able to finally stop juggling the, the two jobs. I can focus solely on one career path, and that's with the UFC. Oh, boy. Huh? Oh, boy. It's bittersweet, but focusing strictly on fighting now is definitely going to take me to that next level. That's what I'm really excited for. I want to be considered the greatest heavyweight in UFC history. And there's no reason I can't do that.